Let's talk about higher level leadership luncheon, which is to happen on Saturday. I have the highly motivated, versatile, and passionate Rita Samwa here with me. She's a management consultant. Good morning. How are you doing, madam? I'm doing very and well, thank you. By, by way of information, she went to uh, attended the Archbishop Porter Girls, and also she's a Blaubi, so uh, put some respect on that. Madam, yeah. welcome. How are thank you doing? I'm doing really well. Great. Thank you. What is the higher level leadership luncheon that we're talking about now? High Leadership Luncheon is to bring together a group of highly professional people who mm. have maybe a mark in leadership in mm. various sectors, just to train, just to encourage, just to coach people coming through. Okay. Uh, because we find out that a lot of people really want to break through in leadership, mm. but they don't know how, mm. they don't know the steps to pass to go through, they really have the skills, they are motivated, they mm. have the plans, mm. they really want to make it, mm. but they don't know how. and. Saturday is just to give them that those steps and mm. to tell them how we've made how we've made it how we've navigated the circles to get to where we have got to. You, you got that but practicing over twenty years yes. along with your contemporaries, but then is it achievable in in a one day forum that you want to hold? I wouldn't I wouldn't say that it is a it's a one day forum, mm. but it's one day to motivate people. Okay. We have four highly professional people who mm. will be there mm. who know what they're talking about. Okay. And it's going to be interactive. People mm. will be able to ask questions. Mm. People will be able to engage. Mm. And therefore, those who come will know that at least in that one day, they'll be inspired to. Mm. I mean, we run these programs from time to time. So okay. they'll have the opportunity to join us when there is another one coming. Right. But in that one day, we think that we can make our mark mm. and at least sow the seed. Um, on that one day. You are speaking. Who yes. else is speaking along with you? So we have um, Professor Ebo uh, Bonzi Simpson, the okay. rector of Gimpa. Okay. We have uh, Dr. Ramansa Bano um, Fodjo, who is the CEO of Bano Hospital. Okay. Uh, we have David Asamwa, show at Global um, Outreach UK, who is the convener. Mm. Um, and we have Wisdom, uh, Reverend Wisdom of Grace Chapel International mm -hmm. and CEO of uh, Wisdom Consult okay. and I'll be there as well talking right. on strategic leadership. What will we be talking about? I've seen women in leadership, I've seen leadership and skill transfer. What else are we talking about? So we're talking about long life learning mm. and we believe that it's not just about going to school and getting, I mean, all the qualifications. Mm. I mean, mm. now, just having a, a, a master's is not even enough. Mm. I mean, I have an MBA and I don't stop reading because right. you have to keep yourself current. Exactly. You have to know what is happening. Mm. Gone were the days when you read books and you had all the information. Now you're encouraged to read journals. Mm. You're encouraged to listen to seminars mm. because information is changing constantly. And if you've been in leadership, you know that the environment changes and it has an impact on mm. whatever you're doing. If you're in strategic leadership, you have to know what is affecting your business, mm. either politically, socially, economically, environmentally. Okay. I mean, when I came on, I heard you talking about the environment mm. and untidiness. Mm. Mm. Now, everyone is very aware of global warming. Right. Everyone is aware of plastics mm. and how it's polluting our environment. Mm. Mm -hmm. You have to be aware if you're selling plastics, how to make your 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 your, your product, you know, biodegradable. Right. So every time something is impacting your market, and you have to make yourself current for that. Mm. If I ask you to have a conversation with our educational authorities and mention that single thing they are missing in terms of sharpening and honing the future leaders to become the great leaders of the world, what would you say to them? I'll say that they should really harness the strengths that people have. I mean, Africa is made up of very intelligent people. Mm. We are, the, at the moment, according to those who know, uh, the fastest growing economy. And therefore, it's about enthusing the young generation coming, mm. that we are the next generation okay. of leaders. Mm. Mm. And to give them to really dream, I think if there's anything that education at times lacks, mm. is the ability to give children the opportunity to dream mm -hmm. and to think big and to think about what the environment has for them and to think about what is being to think global instead of thinking in that small mm -hmm. sense because mm -hmm. at the moment the world is global in six hours you could be anywhere right and therefore our young leaders really need to think global need mm -hmm. to think what is happening around the world mm -hmm. and bring it here because what is happening now mm -hmm 
it is transferable all over. Right. And so that's what I'll say to people. Make educational practical. Mm. Make education practical and something lived that people can see happening mm. in their environment everywhere and every time. I, I want to attend this uh, forum Please already. Do. When are we having it? What, what time and how do we get on board? So it's a Coconut Grove Hotel in Accra. Mm. It's at 10 o'clock. Uh, on Saturday mm. um, and please attend I mean register to attend I mm. mean if you don't register just come okay. because there'll be someone at the door to register right. but do register and, mm. and, and join us we okay. want as many people to come it's a luncheon so you'll have some food to eat at the end of it right. and you'll be able to ask questions if mm. you have a business plan that you're trying to bring together mm. that's a good opportunity as you network okay. to find okay. out what, what, how do I make this mm. live? How mm. do I make it work? Because you'll have people there. I mean, it is free it is at free. the point of entry. Okay. So mm. we're not charging any entry fee. People mm. have given their time. People have sponsored So, so you're this. coaching people to be strategic in their thinking and to be greater leaders. To be greater leaders. You're yes. giving them free food and you're putting them together in a network. Exactly. Wow. It's powerful, isn't it? It is. It's because people really have faith in Africa. People mm. believe that, as you're saying, I went to Archbishop Porter Girls. They really invested in me. Mm. I went to Akraka. They mm -hmm. really invested in me. Mm. We have to give back. Right. We have to really give back right. to our society. Rita, I thank you very much. Thank Indifuka. you, too. Thank you, and I, I wish you all the best. And Rita Samwa is a management consultant with uh, Ability UK. She, they're putting together four of them, or maybe five of them, to speak to you specifically on Saturday, the 13th of June. July at the Coconut Grove Regency Hotel. It's at uh, 10 a.m. You can't miss it. It's free entry. Come and get free knowledge, free network, and free food. We'll see you.